Hey and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're actually going to look at how we can actually refactor our views and use custom modifiers in SwiftUI. So just to get it started, so we have this button here called get started and if you actually look at our code from the previous video where we built this onboarding screen, I'll leave a link at the top here. So essentially, um, if I just go into my onboarding view, we have this um, piece of code here but we have all these styles on this button here now the problem is is what about if I have multiple buttons in my app that have the same style and um, I don't want to have to repeat this every single time so the best way to tackle this is to basically use a custom modifier so let's jump in and let's just start that now so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to basically create a new folder here um, called modifiers or custom modifier I should say and within this folder, we're going to basically create a new um, modifier for our button. Now, when we create this modifier, we're going to give it a name that basically makes it clear that you're actually applying a style onto this button. So I'm just going to call this Capsule Button View Modifier. All right, cool. So we look at the left, the right hand side here. Um, I basically defined my custom style view modifier. And it's worth knowing that when you're called, when you're naming them, you want to give them an appropriate name and it's using the protocol type view modifier as well so that it can basically get the uh, body function. Now, if you just basically look at this, technically, um, our view modifier is a view. Um, so essentially, when we're doing this, we're basically applying views on top of views. So if you look at our view modifier and compare it to a standard view like the content view, you'll see that they both have the body. But the only thing that's different is in a normal Swift UI view, you basically have a computed property where you just return some type of views. But in a view modifier, you have a function called body. And then in the function, you have this parameter called content. Now this content here is the view that you actually want to apply your styles onto. So in our case, when we use this on our button, this content here is going to be our button. So what we need to do is we need to actually apply the styles onto our button or content. All right, cool. And as you can see, if we compare the two, so this is our button, I've only took the styles from it. So I've not took any of the animation stuff because I may not actually want um, any of these on my other buttons. I just want the style. So I'll just talk the style modifiers. And now as you can see, the content has these styles on it. So what we need to do now is we basically need to actually use this view modifier on our button. And in order to do that, views come with a function called modifier, which allows you to add on modifiers. Yeah, it's a bit of a, so um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically use that now. So let's just delete all the styles from uh, before the opacity hit testing and an animation and then we'll just use modifier and then we'll just pass in this view modifier here cool all right sweet so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to basically just run this in the preview so you can see that it's actually updated and it's changed properly and as you can see the button looks the exact same so it's not actually um changed and it's exactly like what we want but what we can actually do to save time is we don't actually have to use this modifier function we can actually take it a step further and create our own custom modifier function so in order to do that let's just go into our capsule button view modifier and inside of here we have to basically write an extension on our custom button view modifier now if you've never saw or heard what extensions are just briefly essentially what they are they allow you to basically extend functionality so you can add additional custom functionality to a type so we're going to apply this onto our view type because we want this function to be available for any type of view so let's do that now and then when you create these custom functions again you want it to have a clear name that is applying a style onto something so we're going to call this something like apply capture button style all right cool so now we've typed that out so we've got a clear function name here so apply caption button style so by looking at this you know that this is to apply a caption button style onto a view and you can see here the function returns some view. So what this is is that you're actually just returning the view itself that you're going to apply the modifier onto. And as you can see, we apply 
we use self.modifier to access and use this capture button view modifier on the view itself. So this is a lot um, cleaner than having to do this every single time. And we can use this extension anywhere now. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this extension. So rather than using dot modifier, we're just going to delete this. And now we're just going to say apply caption button style. So now we have our own custom view modifier function here. And if we just resume the preview and look at it, you'll see that our button again, it looks the exact same. So it's been unaffected. All right, cool. So that was just a quick video about custom view modifiers and how you can repack your code to basically, you know, have um, view modifiers with custom styles and components so you can group up your styles and not have to repeat yourself. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up as well. And if you have any other tips and tricks or any other videos that you'd like me to see, leave them in the comment section below. Also as well, if you hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell to get updates whenever I release a new video, I'd really appreciate that as well. That's everything from me. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.